Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. I'm still alive. Uh, I've uh, just had a lot of stuff going on. I just wanted to touch base with you guys. Um, last week I went to Wild Hunt 2. Um, it was an amazing event. Um, I just wanted to give you kind of a what went down there and uh, if you guys were on the fence about going or not going or whatever, you should definitely go. That's all I can tell you. I'm. It's been a week and I'm still like pumped from it. I just had so much fun. Um, off the bat, I just want to say thank you to um, No Control, Flake, uh, Mark Theus, Joe Snow uh, for putting on the event and putting it all together. Those guys did amazing. Um, Thrilling and Amherst, they were kind of helping everybody out and telling people where to go and who plays who and everything else. They did a great job as well. Um, it was just, I, I loved it. I had an amazing time. I'm I will never forget it. That's all I could say. Um, the first day, um, the pre-party or whatever, everybody kind of showed up. And uh, they had a couple people streaming. Uh, Flake was streaming. And he had like a little game show. It was uh, Gwent Masters Worldwide uh, versus uh, Lodge Sorceresses. Uh, I went head-to-head uh, -head with uh, Thrilling. Uh, we had to like spell out Gwent cards, which... I don't, I don't think anybody got one right. She might have got one right. I definitely didn't get any right. But uh, I did beat her because I, I draw a little bit better. <laughs> she did beat me at Paper, Scissors, Rocks for the tie we had. So she's she's definitely a better speller and Paper, Scissors, Rocks player than I am. But I could draw. So, <laughs> But uh, she was great, man. Uh, thrilling was awesome. Um, everybody was super cool. Um, getting to meet everybody. Um uh, getting getting to talk to Swim, uh, I got to BS with Swim a little bit. Um, you know, talking to him, he was like, "You're one of the like OG people," and I'm like looking at him, I'm like, "Really?" You know, he's like, "Yeah, man, you've been around for a long time." I was like, "Yeah, you know, I I I, I love the game, man. I, it's it's a great game." But yeah, Swim was super personable, um, really fun to talk to. Um, forewarned though, I will say this: if you guys have Swim sign something for you. This is what you get. You get... Where's that? You get that. <laughs> you get a big old penis on your shirt. <laughs> so, just forewarned, if you have Swim sign anything, he's drawing a dick on you. <laughs> but uh, he was great, man. Uh, getting to meet McBeard. McBeard was awesome. Uh, just getting to talk to him for a few minutes and, uh, you know, going over, you know... I've just I've just always liked the dude's style. He uh, he's a super personable. Uh, another guy that was just great to talk to. Flake, Flake, another guy. I've you know been on his stream just a couple times. You know just checking and you know watching him play Magic or Gwent or whatever. But uh, really cool dude. Uh, great guy. Um, so many people were there. Uh, Vishra and Lockin. They were doing some of the uh, casting on day two. They did a great job, man. Uh, hopefully they get uh, some type of casting gig because they uh, they definitely they're very analytical and I thought they did a great job man they uh, they just um, they just put a new like it, not a new spin but just a different face you know what I mean it's nice to, to hear different people talk you know about the game and uh, you know give them their their perspective or whatever I thought they did a great job Joe Snow Joe Snow was awesome man I I had Joe Snow sitting here and DG Thunder sitting here and we're just watching one of the games and I'm just listening to them, you know, saying, oh man, he's in trouble or, you know, he needs to play this or, uh oh, <laughs> it was just, Joe Snow's a really cool dude, man. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely somebody, I don't drink anymore, but somebody who I could like drink with, I don't drink, but he, he just, it was just, Joe Snow's super cool, man. Great dude. Um, some of the other people that were there, um, Magetta, Magetta, I played him uh, in a game, and uh, his girlfriend was there from, you know, it was just cool. She wasn't there to participate or anything. She was just there taking pictures and just supporting the dude. I thought that was really cool. Um, he was a great guy, man. He uh, he whooped me on a on a big old Igni <laughs> when I was playing Neckers, but uh, you know he uh, he he played really well. Um, he had his his shoop list. Uh, it it got him to top eight. So shout outs to him. Um, 
so many other people that were there, uh, like DG Thunder. It was cool to talk to DG Thunder. Uh, Spez Nassi, he was a really cool guy to just BS with. Um, Lurts was there. I didn't know Lurts was there. Um, I thought he was one of the camera guys. <laughs> uh, so I'm next time, Wild Hunt 3, he's definitely going to sign this shirt and uh, the other shirt I get if, if Wild Hunt 3 goes down. But uh, I, I feel bad. I think I had pretty much everybody sign my shirt. Um, I got to talk to Sir Pumpkin, too. Um, he was another one. Uh, really personable. Talked to, you know, talked to him for a few minutes, you know. He uh, he made it to top eight, you know. Um, really cool guy, you know. I I, I don't really check. I, I check out his streams sometimes, but uh, they're usually on a time when I'm not um, able to watch. But uh, super cool guy. Uh, who else? Um Orphan Tears, uh, he was in like the top four. Really cool guy. Um, Rinducey, um, she has her Mahawkin Beer League. She was really cool. Um, who else? House was there. He was just there just to kick it. You know, he, he wasn't playing or anything. Um, there was just so many people there. It was, it was an amazing event. I, I had a blast. Um, it, like I said, if you guys are on the fence about, you know, going or thinking about going you should definitely go uh if you're as passionate about gwen as i am and you feel that the gwent community is a welcoming community there was one girl uh christina her name was uh i can't say her screen name it's like got so but the c is silent because it starts with a c uh she she was in a tournament she's only been playing for like three weeks but everybody was helping her out and uh i mean even though it was a conv competitive environment like she still had some of the basic cards and stuff still it was just nice to see that people are even though there's no new content coming in you know people are still picking up the game and really enjoying it and you know props to her i played her um in one of the games and uh you know she did really well for you know what she had going on and what she had built but uh you know it was just cool to see there's people out there still picking up the game you know even though it's in kind of a hibernation state but uh, everything about it was great uh, watching it on tv um they had like chairs set up so we could watch it on a big screen while the big games were taking place and even though i didn't make it to day two like i still showed up for day two and just watching you know the other games and you know like i said sitting next to you know like mcbeard or joe snow and just listening and talk about the game and stuff it was just all in all a 11 out of 10 experience i i'll never forget it i'm eternally grateful for them putting it on and being able to kick it with all those guys so i just wanted to uh touch base with you guys like i said tell you how it was and uh, uh let you know i got some content coming i am gonna play red rain's curse deck red rain was to me the highlight of the competitors with his blanket sleeping thing going on dude and his curse deck and his alchemy deck i thought were the two most innovative decks there if he wouldn't have drew so bad with the crones and foglets and stuff i think he would have took the whole thing he was uh he was on a roll man he just drew really poorly that's that's how them crones work and them foglets when you have them in your deck and you don't get them out but uh yeah i'm gonna play that deck uh sometime next week or this week but uh i just want to say thank you to all the wild hunt people you guys were great Hopefully they have Wild Hunt 3. I want to thank you guys for sticking around. I know I haven't put out any videos in a while. But uh, like always, thank you, thank you for watching. Cheers. And I will see you guys next time.